Nice job defensively. Double teaming Garcia, forcing him to give it up. And then rotating back nicely. Shot clock down at three. Pay, nice spin and finish. Man, obviously his skill set offensively is what Tom Izzo is looking for. Jolt right now. How about that jolt? Off the bench and into the bucket for Xavier Booker. Freshman five-star McDonald's All-American working his way into the rotation the last couple of weeks. Quarter three. That is short for Mitchell. Hogarth to Booker. Oh! The freshman coming to life early in Minneapolis. Shooter uncharacteristic. He misses both. Booker. Well, now he's going to try from deep. Got the two dunks, but misses there. I like that pick and pop action. Tom Izzo's going to Booker early and often. Down the lane, Christie, tough finish through the contact. Understanding what it takes to be consistent, and he's really found that here, especially the second half of the season. Down inside, Jackson Kohler spun, lost his footing. Pharrell Payne, another Twin Cities kid, throws it away. Holloman pushes. Fights Hall! Wow! Beautiful feed and finish! Timeout, Minnesota! You have to keep your head on a swivel with this guy. That's what he can do! Another assist for Elijah Hawkins, this time fighting Pharrell Payne. Well, Booker can jump, but that was a little tall. All right. <laughs> Thinking maybe Zach Eady on the back line might be able to catch that. That's about it. Inside, Parker Fox with a two-handed flush. And then take it away. Hawkins leads the break. To me, that's what he really focuses in on, but defensively rebounding with that size of the wing, I think he could be more effective. He almost got the steal there, and there is another dunk. Here he gives it up to Akins. Same spot he hit a shot a moment ago. Oh, he is a perfect three for three from the floor. Tom Izzo has blown a few gaskets in his day. That's true. That's, uh, That's true, and he li lived to tell about it. <laughs> Payne stripped. Walker's off. Michigan State doing a great job of sitting in the lap and bringing additional defenders into Garcia's vision. And Garcia turns it over. Walker off the glass for two. Kohler spinning. Spinning again. Spinning again. How about that footwork? Ooh, there was, there was a young man that... Hawkins has five assists. He averages seven and a half a game, second most in the country. Here he's looking to score it. And Garcia taps it out to Holliman. Up ahead, Hogard. Nice job avoiding the traffic and putting it home. Michigan State's getting it done with Tyson Walker on the bench. Let's see if Malik Hall can get activated. Back and down, Garcia. Tied at 49. And Hall's headed to the line. Been aggressive defensively. Found the range necessarily on the offensive end, but doesn't need to. He's got enough scores on the floor right now. He's got the ball now, Trey Holloman. Just a sophomore. Yeah, he's feeling it. And that's saying something right there. I mean, he's, a, he's improved his game every season. He's defending Hall here, but Hall went right around him. Oh, man, Dawson Garcia looking for help from his teammates. None to be found. He called beautiful move. Garcia driving again, and Minnesota needed that. Well, he's a New York City kid, so he's got that New York City toughness. Garcia splits him. How did he finish that? Wow. Gophers fans trying to give a little energy to the Gophers on the floor. Oh, Walker quiets him. Too strong. He'd love to have the ball in his hands at this point in the game. And how about the steal by Walker? Hogard lays it. If they were not an NCAA tournament lock before today, they feel pretty certain right now. And they will face Purdue tomorrow. Great effort by the veteran backcourt especially.